Hey everybody, it has been a while, but we're back on the Viking work, back from the delay, and we've got a lot of stuff to cover. Here's Terrence with the usual questions. Okay, great to be back, guys. Our first question is from Badgers Packers 12. His question is, what is your favorite memory of swag? Memory of swag? Like, um, I don't know what you mean by that exactly, but I would just say, like, uh, a memory where swag occurred. And then go for football when they have swag and win games. That's my favorite memory. My favorite memory of swag was when I played with my Boston College dynasty. And we almost came back to beat Penn State. And my team oh. had a lot of swag. Oh. Summoning swag. Next question. This Paris. question is from College Football Lover 3 Sucks. His question is, do you think Kevin Love is MVP? I think he is very well capable of winning the MVP this year. He is such a good scorer and rebounder and everything. The most complete player in the NBA. Plays for the best team in the NBA. For the best fans in the NBA, he is the best player in the NBA. Uh, I think there's three things to win the MVP. One is make the All-Star team, which he got. Check. Check. Check, check, check. Number two, make the playoffs. Check. <laughs> Number three, look pretty good looking. Be look good looking. I mean, sorry, you have to be pretty good looking to win the MVP. I'm like, I'm not, I just you have to. It's in the name. You know? Yeah. This question is from St. Louis Cards Rams Tigers ninety four. His question is: Now that NCAA basketball is getting close to the end of the season and towards March Madness, who is your favorite Final Four teams? All right, who are the Final Four teams going to be? Well, my predictions aren't looking solid overall. I still think that. You know, it could happen. I had Wake Forest in the Final Four. That's probably not going to happen. I had Cal in the Final Four. That could happen. But right now, I'd say the best-looking teams to make the Final Four are UNC, uh, Missouri. Like, your team, Missouri, they're very good. Also, I would have to say that Arizona, they're a very good Pac-12 team. And then another one, I'd say Utah. Okay, mine... I'm going to stick with my gut feeling with Ohio State. I still think they make it. They look good. They beat us, which makes them good. And I'm also going to stick with VCU because I don't follow them much, but I saw in Sports Center the other night that they're on a roll. They haven't lost for a while. They're a good team. And I don't remember my other two, but that was at the beginning of the season. And I, right now, I think Missouri, your team, very good. And I have to say Iowa State. They have a transfer from Minnesota, Royce yes, White. Yes, that's the only reason I'm picking them, because they have Royce White, and he wants a gopher, always a gopher. Never the team you transfer to. All right, well. Let's breaking news! We have a new Vikings own breaking news special. Derek Williams, our stud rookie from Arizona. Stud. Stud has entered the dunk contest. I think, my prediction, he wins. I predict he wins, too. Blake Griffin will dunk over Carr. Derek Williams will dunk over train. a plane or a train. <laughs> I think a train's more likely if I can zone. Yeah, I don't think any are likely, but Derek Williams could. Yes, he could. Now, let's talk about the Minnesota Timberwolves. Go I mean, Timberwolves. This season has been up and it's been down. A roller coaster like. Yes, season. we've gone on win streaks. We just finished. We just ended a four game lose streak with a win against the Bobcats last night. Yes, great win for our team. But the biggest down of the season was Kevin Love, suspension, and just the stop. What are your opinions on that, Vikings Zone? Well, my opinions are that it was a complete accident. We all know that. I mean, he did step on the guy, but he was just trying to get himself off, get himself loose. It wasn't on purpose, and he even apologized about it and everything. I've seen NBA players do worse on a regular basis than what our good man, Kevin Love, the great role model, does. Yes. And our next game is... The Houston Rockets. Yes, and we will win. I believe we'll win. You know, it's it's tomorrow, uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so that would be 7 o'clock. In Minnesota, and, and I think we'll win. We're a better team, even though our record isn't as good as them. We we are th we're just better, and it's at Houston. It doesn't matter. 
We are good. Viking Zone, what would you thought at the beginning of the season if I said Pekovic? I would have thought a center who is a good player, but has the potential to be great. But what have you thought? 21.6 per points a game? That is an outstanding, outstanding, outstanding play from the center. I mean, what a job he's done, along with Kevin Love, along with R Randolph, along with Rubio, J.J. Barea, Derek Williams, Michael Beasley, Luke Ridnour, Zach, even Dark O. <laughs> Milicic, guys. Yes, and I just want to point out right now that Wesley Johnson, he's putting up Rookie of the Year numbers. I mean, 13.7 points per game. Wesley Johnson is not a rookie. I, I meant Derek Williams. Thank you for catching me. Wesley Johnson sucks. He he hasn't been playing up to his potential, but yeah. Yeah, I agree. And, of course, we still have Michael Beasley. Like Michael Beasley? Beasley. I mean, he really... His stats aren't as good as last year, but that's because well, we have so much and, other talent. And he hasn't played that much. He's only played mm -hmm. in 19 games. Mm -hmm. Guys, think... we are good. <laughs> now, go for B-Ball and Tubby Smith and Rodney Williams. And, and the whole gang. And, and the barnyard, the student section, and just history. Tradition. Tradition it is. And it's a tradition of winning, just like we will in our next game at Northwestern. We've already beaten by 20 yeah. points this year. I think it's an easy win for us. We, we outmatch them just by far. We're a far better team than them. And that's a definite win for okay. us. That's Saturday. And then we have home Michigan State, home Indiana. That's going to be a crazy atmosphere in the barn. We already beat Indiana, so mark that as a win. Okay, and then Michigan State... Probably a loss, but still, that's two of three. But, then, it, but we, they have to come to the barn, remember? True. So and that, they lost to Illinois. That's a toss-up. And then we have at Wisconsin, and we are angry. Yes. We should have beat them in regulation. Yes. And they just, we, we fouled them too many times and missed too many free throws in the overtime game. So that's a win. And then we already beat Nebraska at Nebraska. So we finished home off, will be easy. Yes. Yes. We finish off the season 3-1, and 4-0, oh, two wins in the Big Ten tournament, and we're a for sure in. Yes, we. I think we're in no matter what, really, now. I mean, as long as we I mean, we win. have to win, but we will. Yeah, I mean, we're basically in the tournament, and it's it's looking great. I'm really excited to watch this team. I hope they play in a venue nearby, like not too, too far think, away, so I, we can go and watch. Like my, my dad said if they make it to Omaha, I would go to them. Yes, well... Just well, you like would go with was, me. Yeah, just like when it was in Milwaukee. It's yeah, good we, both distance. Went, we both went to the tournament in Milwaukee. We lost to Xavier, but, you know... It's a good location to go, and if it's nearby, I like to watch it. Chill. Down. I'm sorry, man. I, he, just, I just get excited about he it. He has not been the same since he's come back from the hospital. Yeah, oh, I, it's he, a long story. He was hit by a car, and he's he's all right. It's, just, it's just a fine. Knee. I'm fine. I'm fine, guys. Please think about him in no, your prayers. It's, it's, no, it's fine, guys. Okay. It's fine. Shout out? Shout outs. My shout out is to the, the, the New York Knicks point guard, Jeremy Lin. Harvard grad, he has sparked Swag, and he has brought Swagger back into the NBA. Swag has not always been an NBA fan. Swag's an NBA fan once again. Good job, Jeremy Lin. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. My shout-out is to roll the dice. I like rolling dice. Not always gambling, because gambling can be bad at times. But rolling dice in a board game is fun. And and he's quite a nerd about it. He even has an app on his phone, and he just rolls dices like nonstop. He's kind of weird. It is. It's it's more fun than you think. But yeah. Anyways. Go go. Viking zone. Out.